this is prototype version one of our belt grinder. Um, right now the belt alignment is fixed. To change the belt alignment, loosen this nut, use the socket, turn the bolt on the back, and tighten this nut. Version two actually has a lever on here to adjust it. Uh, it was originally built with a 750. I had the 900 motor designed specifically for this. Uh, I was a little disappointed with the top speed, but I, this is the first one I put the 900 on, and uh, it it sounds solid. We're gonna try a little work. This is three sixteenths thick. It's five inch by six inch mild steel it's got some rust this is really old it's not true it would take forever to do this surface uh we'll clean it up a little bit but we're going to start out with this this is a rounded rolled edge we're going to see if we can clean that up to a nice true square edge now square and it's true and straight that's what we built these for I use version 2 of this to surface the face plates of these motors we actually have a new face plate coming which is thicker and better than this um, normally I will take this in the milling machine and take most of this off and then I will surface it this is two millimeters thick. We're going to see if we can surface this two millimeters off and through this face plate with just the grinder. It's probably going to get hot, so if you see me stopping, it's just to go put it in the water and cool it down because it's too hot to hang on to. Good shot. So now we got the cooling bucket right here. I knew it was gonna get hot. We're almost there. Well, we're halfway there. surfaced with just the machine well it's got some scratches in it we can refine that a little bit i have to say that was a lot faster doing that than setting this thing up and setting all the measurements in and milling it flat on the machine first and then still finishing it on this that was done with 80 grit Notice the arrows. You're going to want to keep the arrows going in the right direction or the belt's going to drift differently. All belts will drift differently anyway. This is 150. 
But that's how easy it is to change a belt. Okay, this is the face plate we just did. Now we're gonna try to refine it a little bit with the 150. Obviously, it's a lot smoother. That's pretty good. But the main advantage is you can get a surface grinder in the corner of your workbench. It takes up much less room than this grinder. And it does about four times as many things. I still use this grinder for a few things, but only about 10% of what I use that grinder for. Uh... If I only had one, I would actually choose the belt grinder versus the large jet. And I haven't priced it lately, but it costs about the same. Well, I took it apart and put it back together, and I couldn't get it to run. It took forever to do it before, so I built the adjuster like I have on version 2. Uh, works pretty good. You think it looks like something I just cobbled together with all the junk I had floating around my shop? Well, you'd be correct. That's the belt adjuster. It works really good. Uh, that's the other side. I'm going to go ahead and put this thing, uh, put the video up, and then I'm going to sell this one and maybe build another one.